We're investigating leaks of two cubic feet per second near the junction of the downstream slope of the embankment and the right abutment. If it worsens, we'll advise you over. All right, the world is a circle. Uh, Don Ellis has just called me on the mobile unit, and he says it apparently is uh, going to be quite a serious problem. So you people on the North Fork and the South Fork of the Teton Rivers, inflate your rafts. I don't think she's going to hold to these rocks. She appears to be widening. Enlarge them to the fingertips. All right, I'm going to interrupt right here and put Don Ellis and the KRXK mobile unit on. All right, thank you very much, Lee Sandwich. We do have a very, very serious problem here at the Teton Dam. Hans, this is Wolf 56. Abandoned attempt to retrieve Cat 2. Repeat, abandoned attempt and evacuate the area immediately. a.m. on June 5, 1976, the Teton Dam collapsed, flooding homes and farms in the upper Snake River Valley with 80 billion gallons of water. Here are recollections of how the people faced that disaster and rebuilt their lives. And the water is monumental, holy, great. What can I say? People downstream better get out. People downstream better get out. A young fellow pulled me off and said the Teton Dam had broken. I thought he was just kind of joking, so I laughed about it. Went on down to the florist and bought a tree and took it up and planted it. And then some of my neighbors said that we ought to turn on the radio because it really had happened. And uh, then when he said the Teton Dam had broke, we had about an hour to, to clear town. And I told him it was a bunch of uh, baloney. Reports of an aircraft in the vicinity of Sugar City. The wall of water is approximately five to six miles wide and is moving buildings and everything out of its way. There are cattle in the front that don't have a chance and uh, suggest that all the people that are anywhere near the river at all to get out of the way. Though the warnings came late and it was difficult to convince many people the dam indeed had burst, the timing of the flood in the middle of the day prevented mass deaths and most residents were evacuated to higher ground where they watched the eerie occurrence of houses and belongings floating away. Well, it was gushing and it was so high, it was coming in, I would say probably five to eight feet high. And it was, uh, it 